I've generated over $25 million online, and today I'm gonna to show you the fastest and easiest way to make $50,000 in your business. So this is what a traditional sales funnel looks like. At the very top of it, you have traffic. These are people that are in your market, but maybe have not given you their name, email, and phone number. Then you're gonna have leads. So these are people that have given you their contact information. They know a little bit more about you. Then you're gonna have calls. These are people that have actually booked a call to speak with your team about buying your products or services. Then you're gonna have take calls and these are going to be people that have actually spoken with your team you've made an offer to these people and then you're obviously gonna have customers or sales on the very bottom and these are people that have paid you money now in my experience working with 2,500 plus businesses the majority of people spend their time trying to get more traffic more leads and more calls and there's nothing wrong with that that's probably because that's one of the areas that they don't have enough of they don't have enough traffic they don't have enough leads or they don't have enough calls however I want to show you how you can focus some of your energy once every few months on this bottom group of people here, I'll change my color, taking calls, uh, and how that can turn into literally tens of thousands of dollars in profit in your business in the coming days. So what do I mean? Well, let me break down a concept for you that I uh, created a few years ago and has, has served me really well. I called it the golden gap. And in any offer, you really need two golden gaps. The first golden gap is going to be between the cost of you to deliver your services and the price that you're charging at. Now, I'm not going to go too deep in this video about you know uh, how to build profitable offers et cetera, et cetera. But the idea being that the more that you can charge uh, and the less something costs you, the more profit you're going to have and the easier business is going to be. If from day one, you're starting at 10% margin, meaning if you sell something for $10,000 and it costs you $9,000 to fulfill it or deliver it, then it's really difficult to scale because in that $1,000 margin, you got to pay for your sales commission, your center commission, ads, your entire uh, salary of your team, uh, anything else operationally that you need in your business. And the rest is your take home that you're working so hard for. So that's the first golden gap. I can do a different video on, um, on how we identify that and how you can kind of blend both, uh, like done with you, do it yourself elements in an offer to done for you elements, like running ads for people, et cetera, et cetera, uh, in order to get that more profitable. But today I want to talk about more about the second golden gap, which is between your price and the value. And this is so important that this is actually the first thing that I do when I work with any clients, I look at this discrepancy between the price and the value. So if someone's charging something for $10,000, what is the value in the client's mind uh, of that product or service? So not what's the value in your mind. You might think your stuff is worth a million dollars, but what does the market perceive this value to be? And this isn't just like you're throwing a number out there. You actually should be looking at comparables and doing the math and figuring out, okay, what would this actually be worth if someone were to get this uh, through someone else or through multiple other people? And what I've learned is that most most people uh, have roughly a 2x price to value discrepancy. So if they're selling something for $5,000, it's worth $10,000. And they might think that's a good deal, but in reality, it's not, okay? Uh, people are very guarded with their money. And if they're gonna give you money and you say, hey, give me $5,000 and there is a 50% chance that I'm gonna give you $10,000, that's not worth the risk in that person's mind, okay? They need to see a much higher uh, potential return on their investment. So in reality, what you're really looking for is closer to a 10x to a 100x uh, in their price to value discrepancy. And this is where you see offers that are absolutely crushing it. And this is uh, not to get too deep into this, but this is actually why software works really well because uh, AI or software literally could replace somebody that you're paying $60,000 a year for, for free or for $20 a month. So if I said, hey, if you pay me $20 a month, I can save you $60,000 a year. That's obviously a huge price to value discrepancy. So you need to think about how do I make my offer better so that the price that I'm charging and the value that they get, um, uh, there's at least a 10x return on investment there. Now, I always recommend increasing the value. I almost never recommend trying to decrease your price because you know there's no reward for being the second cheapest person out there. So you might as well see how can I increase value. Now, this video is not gonna be about how you can increase value, uh, but that's important to this video because I wanna talk about um, what you can do to make this $50,000. And that's gonna be creating what is called a one-time offer. So a one-time offer is exactly what that sounds like. It's where you're coming and you're making some insane bold uh, offer to your audience in order to uh, uh, get them across the line. Because what happens is over the years or months or whatever else it is, if you running a business, 
at, at, at one point you have no people in your funnel whatsoever, but then slowly over time, you start to get more people that come through here. You have 10 customers, you've taken 20 call, uh, taken 20 calls. There's been 30 people that have booked, you have a hundred leads, uh, and there's obviously an infinite number of traffic out there. So slowly over time, these numbers really, really increase more and more. And this number of people that are taking calls, but not customers, this gap right here, um, this is where people are on the one yard line. So they've gone through the traffic, they've seen your ads or content, they've given you their contact information, they've watched your video sellers, they've booked a call, they've shown up to the call, and yet they are not customers yet. So these people are literally on the one yard line. They were so close to buying, but something convinced them not to. Either uh, there was too much risk involved, the price to value discrepancy wasn't there, um, they, it wasn't the right time, whatever the reason was, they didn't pull the trigger to go from taking calls to customers. And just for context, in our company, we've taken over 16,000 sales calls. So like for us over time, this number just keeps on increasing and increasing and increasing. And even the best sales teams operating really, really well are converting at, let's say 40 to 50%. So that means one out of every two calls you're taking, they're not closing. And so what you'll start to notice is kind of a trend of why people are not closing. And it's going to be for one or two or three different reasons. And once every quarter, or maybe two times a year, you can make this one time offer to that list of people that you have gotten on a sales call with, or maybe even people that have booked a call if that audience isn't great enough, and you can try to create a golden gap in your offer. So let's say you've already done everything that I've said, and you've been able to create a golden gap in your offer from price to value to 10X, right? So you've offered all these crazy things, and there's a money back guarantee, whatever else it is, and so there's a 10X value. Well, these people didn't bite. It wasn't a good enough return on investment. And so you need to figure out a way that you make it 20X, or that you make it 30 30x or that you make it 50x, right? So how do you increase that value for this one time thing? Now, there's reasons why it's sometimes difficult to make it 20, 30 or 50x um, of a return on the value, because sometimes that requires a lot of additional work. And so what you can do is instead of making that a lot of additional work be your day to day life, like let's say, if I was going to make a one time offer, I might say, for me, you get a one hour call with me. So um, for most of my clients, unless they're in my highest level thing, they don't get a one hour call with me, I charge $5,000 an hour for my time. And in all honesty, I don't even offer one-on-one -on -one calls to anybody that's not a client of mine. And so I could every once in a while offer one uh, hour of my time with the people that took me up on this one-time offer. And uh, some people might be like, well, Ravi, why don't you do that all the time for every single client? Well, the problem with that is that by the sheer velocity of clients that we have, all I would be doing is be on back-to-back one-on-one -on -one calls. That's why I have a full client success team that I've spent the past four years training and I iterate with every single week. And But for the people that are on the one, uh, one yard line that have already gone through and they've taken a sales call with me, these people might just need that extra um. So I might, I'm gonna show you in a second here how to actually do this. I might come to the list, come to my audience, come to the people that we've taken a sales call with. I might get on a call with them, do a webinar, do a blast, whatever else it is. And I might say, hey, for the limited time, I'm gonna do this insane thing that I've never done before. And this could be, let me just write down a few examples of what this could be. This could be, let's say, if you're like a, a face-led brand or a founder-led brand, this could be uh, a call with you. Uh, another thing that this could be, it could be like an in-person mastermind um, or meetup. Another thing that this could be is um, a longer, le a longer like uh, length. If you have a program or a coaching offer or something like that, uh, so longer length instead of three months, it's six months. Uh, the other thing could be maybe done for you elements. So let's say you're doing something and you show people how to do stuff. Hey, for the limited time for these five people, you're actually going to build it themselves yourself for them. Uh, another example of this could be obviously uh, risk reversals, which is like money back guarantees, um, anything along those lines. You, the list goes on and on. And and the idea is you shouldn't just throw spaghetti against a wall. You should look back at your sales calls or you speak with your sales team and see, hey, what was the main reason why people didn't buy? Was it because they felt like um, it was too risky? Well, then throw a risk reversal. Is it because they felt like they didn't have enough time or they wouldn't be able to implement it themselves? Then do a done for you or a longer length. Is it because they really wanted to access you? You're the face, you're the founder, you're the influencer. Well, maybe include a call with you or a ticket to a, a, um, an up, upcoming mastermind or in-person meetup that you have, right? Um, and so it's purposely, by the very fact that the thing that you're offering is unscalable, that's what makes it so valuable. That's what makes it a 
30x or a 50x because if you were just doing the thing that you could do for everybody else, it wouldn't be as valuable just by the very definition of value and scarcity and supply and demand. So what you should look to do once every quarter is go to this list of people that you have taken a sales call with and that have heard everything about your offer. They liked everything about it, but it wasn't the right time. And you should get them on a call, get them on a webinar, and you should say, hey, we're about to do this insane offer. I want you to be the first person to know. Here are the details about it. And then let's say you only have five people on your taking calls. Well, then go up to uh, people that have booked a call with you. And then you could eventually go up to people that are leads. And then if you had no traffic whatsoever, you could eventually run ads saying, hey, for the first time ever, I'm going to do this insane thing. Now, the reason why um, you're running traffic like to the people that are leads or uh, or just traffic in general doesn't work as well is because these people aren't on the one yard line. So they don't have already the perception of this value to cost discrepancy or value to price discrepancy. So they don't already know that, you know, your usual offer, I'm just going to make really easy numbers here. Let's say your usual offer is $10,000 and it's worth a hundred thousand dollars. And you're about to say, Hey, we're going to do this insane thing here. That's going to make it worth $300,000. Well, the original people in this, uh, in the, that are leads and that are in like just your market, they have no idea this original discrepancy between $10,000 and $100,000. So coming out, if I was to come to you, let's say this is the first video you've ever watched of me. When I talked a moment ago about, hey, uh, you know, I don't do one-on-one calls with my clients unless they're in the highest level, and I'm going to offer you on a, one, a one-on-one call, you might be like, okay, that's like, that's cool, I guess. I might get on a one-on-one call with this guy because you have no context. You have no idea that actually we've served 2,500 clients and I don't get on one-on-one one calls anymore with any of those clients because my client success team takes care of them and I manage my client success team, et cetera, et cetera. So for you to get all that context, you'd really need to be further along down the funnel and to be gotten on a sales call with us and heard our pitch. Okay. So that's why this works really, really well for mostly bottom of funnel traffic. So I'm not going to leave you hanging. Let's talk about how do you actually craft this one-time offer? Well, we're going to use something that um, we call the 50K script. This is called the 50K script because uh, when I first launched this for our clients, every single time we launched it, they would make 50 thousand dollars and that's why the title of this video um, we have examples of this happening literally for hundreds of our clients now that being said obviously the fifty thousand dollars that you'll make is relative to how large that audience of people that know you are and how um uh, how good this offer is and how much you charge. But if you have a decent sized audience and you charge something over $5,000, it's totally doable if you make this value to price discrepancy high enough for you to make $50,000. So let's walk through how this would work. So let's say I'm creating an offer. Let's say I run a real estate coaching business. I coach real estate agents how to get more listings and close more deals, et cetera, et cetera. It's called the 50K script template. I'm actually gonna walk you through this Mad Lib style. So this is what I would send out to my list. I would send in a text message, an email. I would do whatever else I would need to do to get this in front of people. I would personalize it, but let's do this. So if you want to benefit without fear, if you want to get an additional $100,000 in commissions this year without having to spend a dime on ads, I have an insane opportunity for two people to the end of day tomorrow. So this works well because uh, once again, it's the value to price discrepancy. I'm adding scarcity by saying uh, done tomorrow. And I'm talking about what they really want, which is more money without having to spend money. Last year, I came across a strategy that benefits every single month without fear. Last year, I came across a strategy that uh, generated uh, an additional $10,000 a month in commissions uh, without having to spend a dollar on ads consistently, right? So I'm kind of restating this thing up here, but I'm adding like, when, when did I come up with this idea, which was last year, right? So you're kind of painting a story. You have to give a reason why you're going to make this insane offer and a kind of a story around it. Otherwise, it's not going to have hit, uh, a hit to it. I've literally only shown it to a few of my 50K plus clients and they've seen an immediate blank from this alone. They've seen an immediate increase in uh, in listings, increase in, uh, in calls, increase in commissions from this alone. This is by far the best uh, listing acquisition method to date. And because I want to see some more of our clients win and start this month off strong, I've decided to implement it for my next two clients. Okay. So once again, I'm adding scarcity inside of here. I will personally be coaching two clients one-on-one on how to benefit on how to uh, get this uh, additional $100,000 in listings without spending a dollar on ad using our new organic uh, system to your market to start Uh, you know, working less, making more, becoming the authority in your industry, benefit, 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 benefit. You're just listing it. Boom, 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 boom. As someone who has worked with over 1000 real estate agents and is the go-to a real estate coach in our industry, I can tell you that this strategy brings the best 
um, you know, whatever else you say, commissions, listings for the least amount of work. And the best part, the multiple benefits uh, that I talked that you kind of talked about a little bit earlier. Uh, there's a, a I'm going to hundred percent guarantee your return on investment. I'm also going to include a uh, in-person meetup of myself and the top 10 real estate agents in Miami, Florida, where we're going to go out on my boats. There's also going to be uh, two additional one-on-one -on -one calls with me. I'm going to double your program length from three months to six months. I'm actually going to write all of your organic copy and YouTube headlines for you. Boom, boom, boom. You're just increasing value, 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 value. We're increasing that value all the way here. And even if you don't have a personal brand, even if you're not good at creating content, even if you don't want to shoot videos in front of a camera, even if you find yourself scared, even if you don't already have a market, even if you don't have a sphere of influence, even if nobody knows who you are, or if you've never objection handler here, this will work for you. Or if you don't have enough time, or if you're afraid of losing your money, or if you're thinking, so this is why you need to have the things that people have been saying they really want on the sales calls, the thing that they've been giving you objections, because you're just value stacking the heck out of this thing. Uh, this will work for you. These two spots will be open until 8 p.m. EST tomorrow, but will likely go in the next few hours. Once again, scarcity, scarcity, scarcity. First come, first serve. If this at least remotely interests you, shoot me a DM or reply back to this email or click this link, depending if you're running an ad, you're shooting an email or you're putting this on your story and uh, we'll hop on a call ASAP. That's it. That literally take this template and just recreate it Mad Lib style for your business. And this can generate you an insane amount of calls. Now, once again, it's only if people have already seen, they've been following you for a while, they already are like, wow, this person's already done this insane thing here. Let me just get this, this additional value plus all the stuff that they had previously. And that's one thing that I typically say when I'm doing the multiple benefits section, I'll say all these insane things. And then I'll say, plus you'll also get what our regular, uh, our regular skilling with system systems clients get, which is this, 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 this below this as well. Okay. And I'm going to wrap this up here by actually walking you through why would this not work? Okay. What are some of the reasons why you wouldn't see success if you use this? So first of all, I'm going to, uh, do the obvious one, not using it. Okay. So majority of you are going to watch this video and you're never going to do it. You're going to come up with a million reasons why, Oh, I don't want to hurt my brand. Oh, uh, I don't have a large enough market. Oh, I don't this, that, that it doesn't matter. This will not hurt your brand because you can only should be doing this maybe maximum four times a year, uh, more likely two times a year. This is kind of like a black Friday kind of situation. The same thing that the largest companies in the world do that all have really great brands. Uh, yeah, they do a black Friday deal. So this is the same idea, but for your business. So the first mistake people do is they talk themselves out of doing it. The second thing that people do is they, uh, use it too much. So I've seen this all the time. And this is actually, I see people even in my industry and this does hurt their brand every single week, every single month, I see them making an insane one-time offer. It's on their Instagram. If I'm on their email, list and they're like, Hey, we're doing this crazy thing here. And so if that happens, then if I was a person that was, um, in their audience or in their list, I would just wait for that, um, that blast or that one time offer. And then I would hop on it. And, and maybe that is a good strategy if you want to do it. But the problem with that is you're kind of in a famine mode the rest of the time, because everyone's just waiting for that next big offer that you're going to make to hit. So it will hurt your brand. If you're doing it more than once every quarter, I highly recommend just once every quarter or two times a year, or if you can one time a year, remember, there is definitely a point of diminishing returns with it. The third thing um, is not a strong enough um, value to price discrepancy. Okay. So you're like, oh, I'm a little scared to offer a guarantee. I'm a little scared to offer one on one goals. I'm a little scared to do this. Look, if you're not scared to do it, then it's not valuable enough in your prospect size. Because if you're scared, it's because you have something to lose because you're offering something that's pretty scary to you. That's a pretty big deal. And so if you're scared of it, your clients are going to love it. Right. I know that sounds weird, but it's really true. If I were to say, hey, I'll show you how to make more money, um, hopefully, right? I'm not really scared of making that claim, right? Because I'm not losing. It's like, all right, I hope I make, I should. but if I say, I'm going to make you a uh, hundred thousand dollars in the next 30 days guaranteed, and I'll write you a check for a thousand dollars on top of it. That's a pretty scary claim for me to make. And so it's going to be really valuable to that person for that exact same reason. So you want to make sure that you have a really high value and a low, uh, um, uh, price discrepancy there. Now, the next thing is uh, going to be personalization. Okay. So this works. This is like uh, something that can really kick it into overgear. So if you just did this, to your whole list and into your audience, blah, 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 it will work. But if you can reach out to specific people that you've spoken to or your sales team can, and you say, Hey, look, I know we spoke three weeks ago. You have this business, you're doing this offer and you wanted to do this thing, but you couldn't because of these three reasons here. Well, guess what? I begged and pleaded Ruby for the past three weeks. And he finally agreed that not only are we going to do those three things that you were afraid of, but Ruby's personally going to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with you. And we're going to put in a writing, a money back guarantee that you
you see these results, right? So imagine that versus like, hey, here's this big offer, right? Imagine the difference in those two things. So make sure you can add personalization whenever possible. Now, the fifth reason this might not work is that you don't have enough eyeballs, okay? So going back to the original graphic that I showed you of what a sales funnel looks like, you know, if you've only had, let's say, uh, two taken calls and you've only booked three calls total and you have five leads, this is not really going to work well. You haven't even established enough in your market, in your list, in your uh, uh, people who know you, what your current price to cost to value discrepancy is. Okay, so if you don't have a large enough audience, then um, then focus on just making your original offer a 10x return on investment for those people that are investing into it. But also don't fall into the trap of thinking that you need hundreds of thousands of followers and subscribers. I'd say the majority of the clients that we work with that we implement this for, they probably have an email list or an audience of less than a thousand people, right? But if those thousand people know who they are and what they do and what they've offered in the past, like if you sell something for $5,000, all you need is 10 people to take you up on this. So it's not insane to think that you can make $10,000 from this. Uh, and the, and the sixth and final thing I'll say, which I did bring up a, a little bit earlier is, uh, sending as a cold message. So this is uh, kind of, um, common sense, but obviously common sense is not that common. If you're trying to take this market or take this off as insane value, and you go out to people that have never heard of who you are, top of funnel ads, they're totally cold. And you say, here's this insane thing that I'm doing. It could possibly work. But um, once again, it goes back to all the reasons I told about previously. They haven't even understood what the original offer is. They don't know why this is so much more valuable. They don't know why this additional access to you would be a big deal. And you're gonna have to take them through a much longer sales process to convince them of all this stuff, which is why I really only recommend doing this for people that have already booked calls. Uh, at the very least, you can go to people that, or at the very max, you can go to people that have become leads uh, before. But if you just drive drop of funnel traffic, this will almost never work, okay? Now, uh, finally, I'll leave you guys with this. If you want to, I have um, a Google Drive folder with this 50K script written out for a bunch of our different clients, uh, examples. And each one of those examples has generated at least $50,000 in sales for our client. And if you wanna get access to that Google Drive folder with all these templates of that 50K script, make sure to go to my Instagram, at Ravi and DM me the word 50K, and I'll personally respond back and send you that link.